a very good morning to you on this beautiful Friday Friday morning. I was just going to put a message on Facebook for you and apologize for the delay. You're having technical difficulties. And also, I just like got my phone out and I started typing. Things just started working. So maybe maybe just the, you need a magical push that like, you know, when you can't find something and you call someone else into the room and say like, oh, where do I find this? And then you magically find it straight away when the person enters the room. So we are here. Phew. <laughs> Made it. Right. OK, so this morning we're going to be doing a double row, re revisiting the double row flat spiral. One of my very favorite projects because you're creating a beautiful fabric, like a ribbon like structure with the beads. I very minimal materials we need. We're only going to use pearls, um, six more pearls, four more crystals and seed beads to do it. I really do love it. I hope you are having a beautiful morning. It's really sunny here. I haven't been outside. Well, no, I have been outside because I dropped um, Christopher to school, but like I haven't really like been outside outside to um, it looks nice. It looks nice and it doesn't look windy at all. So I might go for a walk later on. Um, right. How are we doing? Good morning, Lucy, Rachel, Gwen, Diane, Angela, Camille, Frances. Frances is saying nice, sunny Perth. Morning, Joe, sunny day in Dagenham. Mina, good morning. Um, saying um, good morning, Kitty and Beading family. It's our new year today. So got to got day off and going to enjoy today. Going going to enjoy today. Sorry. My, I, don't, I need a sip of my coffee. I'm on the go so this morning. So happy Diwali. I think that's that's how you say it, Mina. Is that how you say it? Do, do, do. Uh, please confirm it for me because I, I never know names and I like, you know, I, I, I muck up with everything most of the time. <laughs> I, but at, um, I really know my beads. I really love my beads. <laughs> like I don't, I don't muck them up. So I don't know how that's, that goes. But um, never mind. So good morning, Eileen. So Judith, Sue is saying cloudy but dry in North Devon. Um, Judith is saying sunny but cold in Livingston. Uh, well, Mina is saying three degree um, in Leicester. And she said, yes, you got it correct. So happy Diwali, um, everybody um, who is um, celebrating it today. Um, good morning, Calm in North Scotland. Angela is saying good morning to you. Um, Lucy's saying, it looks too cold out. I showered them back in my pyjamas. Oh, PG day. Um, we very rarely get to have a PG day in my house, but I do, I do really enjoy it when we get a PG day and um, just like not really do much. We had we had one not that long ago. Me and the children had one. It was, it was really nice. Right. Okay. So I'm going to, what should I do? I'm going to show you either the website quickly or show you the mat with all the samples. I'll show you the website quickly and then we can go down and look at the samples. So I'm just going to share my screen. There we go. So we got um, marked on the page. Let's go back to the home page. So you know the drum by now. Totalbeads.co.uk. You're going to go and you're going to come here to either press this button here, which is video tutorials, or you're going to go into categories, pardon me, and find video tutorials, which is the fourth one from the top. I think I'm going to have the hiccups. Maybe not. <laughs> I've to hold my breath, breath for like 20 minutes. To, to, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on Friday. <laughs> the video tutorials here. Then we're going to go into those hundreds and hundreds of tutorials here. Going back over a year and a half now, we've been doing so many different things. So many different crafts as well, like like the techniques and all sorts, you know, not, not just stitching, but we did wire work, we did French flowers, we did so many different things. Um, Angela's saying boo. I don't know. I don't know why, why are you saying boo, Angela? Do let me know. Um, oh, yeah, you have to scare me to not to get the hiccups. <laughs> Oh my God, it's Friday. Right, okay, so double row, double row flat spiral. That's what we're going to go in today. That's what we're doing today. And the, it, I love, really do love this one. I love the single row, but I love the double row just as much because it's creating, never done a triple row. Maybe that's what's next, what we need to do. And we could do it like, 
Oh, we could do a triple. Oh, maybe something. I'll, I'll, I'll need to look into that. Um, right. So we got so many different colors. And Simon has given us, if you buy two of them, any two, mix and match, you get 20% of both of them. So again, this is the same like yesterday. The, uh, not the yesterday, the other day. So you need to buy two or you need to buy four or you need to buy six. The multiple of twos you need to buy is $6.99 to make one bracelet. Obviously, 20% comes off of that one. So it works out um, with the offer five pound 80 to make a beautiful bracelet so there is so many different colors i'm going to turn you down i'm going to show you them in real life i'm just going to pop into one of these quickly to show you we got christmas colors as well um, you're going to get your 6mm pearl, you're going to get your 4mm crystal, you're going to get your seed beads and you're going to get your clasp. If you want to add thread or needle, then add that at the bottom. You can add that as an extra, but um, you, you might have got um, the right color thread at home or you know you, might, you, you, you got enough needles. So we always put that on there as an extra. Right, okay, so I'm going to come back down, come back to me and we're going to go straight down onto the table and we can look at all of these beauties look at all these colors we have i just i just love the structure you get with this stitch it's quite dense as well but it's just really nice a, a fabric like you know just just like a, a ribbon um i really do love how they turn out right so let me just show you and introduce you the colors before i um, mean thing i got a rose gold color from before so that's um i think that was this one was it this one I'll, I'll introduce you the colors and then like you can get a different color now i mean and have a have a go with a different color so i'm gonna go as per website so we got caramel i can't see the blue here <laughs> Leanne was getting them together yesterday. So we got a very light blue, which unfortunately I haven't got the sample here, the made up sample, but they are the beads. <laughs> I can show you the beads. I got the beads. Uh, maybe we should make this one up then. Um, this beautiful um, light blue, a really like a, a very true light blue color. Then we have got caramel. I love, love, love caramel. Um, it's just just the color of caramel just really beautiful the, the colors like this that go with everything go with go with blues like i got a blue top today and look it would really go really nicely with this one if i had black it would go really nice with that one if i had any um, greens go like caramelly colors these like i call them like natural colors they always go with everything right we've got the dark blue this is like a, a navy blue beautiful beautiful and um, the nebula seed beads are really like shining through there and then we got dark gray which is this one like you got a lighter gray in the for the pearls but you do have like hematite color seed beads there again a beautiful color now we got festive green that's this beautiful green and i'm going to bring it up even more actually let's i'm going to come back come down and let's zoom in a little bit more because i'm bringing the colors to you anyway then we have got gold that's a beautiful color again And then we have got green, which is this one, more like, like a tealy green. Oh no, it's this one. So this is this is this is the green. It's like a hint of a sea foam green in there. I really do like those um those seed beads. They are number 24 isn't it funny that you can't remember the name of the seed beads but i can remember the color number of it it's beautiful beautiful um so this is between a teal color and a green color so if i put these two that's that's a green and that's a teal this color is kind of like in between it so again a really good color to have because we'll go with the loads of things in your uh, in your wardrobe right next one is the lavender i love this one beautiful beautiful color um i love purples all sorts of purples right right after this one is the light aqua a beautiful color i love my aquas you know me then we have olive very beautiful color as well bringing the olive in there's so many to choose from like really so many so don't forget if you buy two you get 20 percent off then we have the pink which i haven't got the sample here 
but I do have the bead so it's a beautiful um, not so bright so when it's made up because the pearls and the crystals are a lighter color and you we needed to add a little a seed beads which is a little bit sort of a brighter color with it but it all blends together and it doesn't come out that bright right next one is the purple beautiful color as well so some of the colors when we put them together we wanted to wanted the pearls to stand out and others we want them to blend in like if i show you the red one next and i do love this one very very festive the more blending in because the colors are pretty much the same right we have got a silver one which again i haven't got the samples so I'm going to show you the bees themselves, just like a silver gray, a hint of gray color in there. Beautiful colorway again. And last but not least, we have got the teal on there. And that's 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 all the colors. <laughs> just a few, just a few colors. And they're saying like the purple. Ian is saying hugs to Adelina who has put her back out. Oh no, Adelina, um, speedy recovery. Um, I hope you get well soon. I know, like I on the other day I had a backache and it was like when when you get a backache like that or when you put your back out like you can't even breathe because it's hurting and i keep like stretching myself and it doesn't help so hot water bottle and just 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 rest <laughs> that's probably the best one to do um mina is saying yes would love aqua and pink and blue um don't forget mina it's two or four so multiple of twos you need to be be buying to get the 20 percent off because if you buy three you're only going to have 20 percent off of two kits so it's like they're changing things on the website so if you buy two kits you get 20 percent of everything if you buy four kits you get 20 percent of everything as well charlotte's saying beautiful colors and they are lovely good morning and um right sheena i love this pattern saying um i love it as well i love the olive Silver would look lovely, grey, can this be adapted to single row bracelet? Absolutely, you will need a different clasp, but I'm going to uh, talk you through it and, and we're going to start out as a single row anywhere and we're going to join a second row on it. Right, I've seen it saying Fab just got to buy it for them. Right, shall we get started? So, I am going to do, I'm going to do the light blue one since we don't have that colorway I'm going to move these beauties out sometimes like or shall we do a festive one I think the red is sometimes quite hard to see on the on the uh, screen but we can either do I'm going to give you two options I'm, I'm not going to give you loads of options so the are we either going to do the light blue because we haven't got that sample or we're gonna do a festive one so i need you to let me know oops <laughs> which one you want me to do the light blue or the festive one well I got, yes i got the festive ones here as well so if you're gonna go for festive you have to red i think would be quite hard to see because the camera doesn't really focus on red so much but the cream green would be a nice one to do or the gold as well so you, your choice is blue or one of the festive one gold or green the red one is blue <laughs> and he's saying light blue festive gold light blue light blue a lot of people saying the light blue light blue um angela saying gold thing a uh, light blue light blue gold gold light but there's a lot of people saying light blue so we're gonna go with the light blue there's more more people saying light but i didn't do my little erase it down here i just <laughs> want to get to the demo um very quickly so we're gonna do the light blue i think blue is winning absolutely lucy right okay so i'm gonna grab oh there is it my scissors i'm just gonna get the some of the crystals and pearls off the strand and we're gonna start straight with the uh, straight with the pattern now let me know in the comments have you done flat spiral before or haven't you done flat spiral just give me yes or no in the comments so i know if you've done it before then if you well i'll, I'll explain it either way <laughs> but um I just want to know that how many of you perhaps haven't done it or this is the first time you're seeing it or you have done it you've done different versions of it 
Right, I'm going to grab some thread and I'm going to go. So this is what I love about Superlon threading. It comes in so many different colors. So I'm going to grab a thread which is matching the my my beads and I'm going to I'm going to get a new needle. <laughs> I'm fed up with my banded needles. So I'm going to get a brand new needle out today. And we can get started. You're saying yes. Lucy thinks I have done it, but I always need a refresh memory issues. <laughs> yes, we, you and me both, Lucy. Like even though sometimes when I did, and even even if I designed the kit and I've written it all up, and then like you know six months a year later, I mean I don't have to go back and remind myself how to do POT stitch or how to do a particular thing but I need to go back and look up my instructions that remind me like how many beads I did I pick up or how did I attach the class even I have to remind myself well Elaine is saying sorry a bit late but here now Elaine we are just starting so you are the you you you're coming in just the right time so we're just starting the bracelet itself Dorothy saying this, I have done this with you before. I love this stitch, single or double word, too hard to choose. Absolutely, I, I love this as well. And he's saying, yes, I have done flat spiral. Julian is saying, I had gorgeous double flat in ruby red. Um, Ruth is saying, um, Joe is saying, yes. Sue is saying, yes, just a single row. Um, Debbie is saying, I love making these. Kimberly is saying, yes. Um, good morning, chef. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm her adopted daughter. Oh, bless your adopted mummy. Um, mommy chefy um right okay so <laughs> so do i brain like a sim <laughs> yeah absolutely same here so we're gonna start by we're gonna start i'm just gonna bring this bracelet in so we're gonna start and leave your bobbin on because uh the way how we're gonna do the stitch you're gonna you can continue in both ways so let's say if i start the bracelet here I would use my thread up, the couple of arm span of thread that I have taken off, to getting to one end. But then if my bobbin is still on the end of my row, and we're going to do one row first, then I can take more thread of the bobbin and continue my beading the other way. So that is just kind of speeding things up for you because you don't have to join a new thread in and uh, joining a new thread in is always like 10-15 minutes every single time and there's nothing worse when you finish your bracelet and you still have to go back and work your ends off so we're gonna doing the little units we're gonna be sewing um two pairs together every single time as we go along but it's gonna, always gonna be uh, like two different pearls but it, it's gonna make all gonna make sense just in a sec so I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee before I start. And then we're going to get started. So um, we are going to pick up two pearls and we're going to make loops around these pearls all the way down. So I'm going to take these two pearls down and my tail end is here at the bottom. This is my working end at the top and I'm going to zoom in more so <laughs> you can see it really nice actually let's let's suspend it on my in my finger so now i move the tail end to the top and my working end is at the bottom so i got these two pearls here i'm gonna pick up the following patterns so i'm gonna pick up four seed beads size 11 seed beads these are by the way a crystal and another four seed beads one two three four now i'm gonna come to these two pearls from the tail end i'm gonna come through both of them just like that and pull this up nice and tight so we have created a loop over the pearls now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna repeat this one more time so I'm gonna pick up four seed beads one two three four a crystal and a further four seed beads and I'm gonna come through these two pearls again from the tail end so I'm creating a second loop over my pearls just like that so what i need to do next i have completed my little unit here i need to move along so i'm going to pick up one pearl and i'm going to pull this and let it go all the way down so i'm going to create another two loops but this time instead of adding it on the top of those two 
uh, pearls I'm gonna add it on the top, top of these two pearls so I want to make sure before I add my next loops on the loops on the before the, the unit we just completed one loop is to the right and one loop is to the left then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up four seed beads we're gonna be picking up the same thing all the way down on row number one a crystal and another four seed beads and then I'm going to go to two pearls. So I'm going to go through the second pearl from the unit before and the pearl just added. So I'm going to just go through that. Those two. There we go. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. So now I got another loop. Now I want this loop. I'm going to pull this loop to the left. I'm going to pick up exactly the same again. I'm going to pick up four seed beads. A crystal and another four seed beads and I'm gonna come through these two pearls again and there we go I'm gonna come through both of them pull it up nice and tight and I'm gonna make sure the loop is to the right this time so I got one loop on the left and one loop on the right now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna pick up another pearl and pull this down and I'm going to repeat picking up four seed beads, a crystal, four seed beads, and go through two pearls. But I'm going to come through the second one from the unit before and the one just added. Sometimes, like as you're getting further and further down, you might need to kind of wiggle your pearls a little bit because when you pull it quite tight, they can sit together like really tightly and it's hard to get the needle in. What I usually do, I just take my, um, <laughs> take my nail, I guess, and like push it down a little bit in between the two pearls and that will just separate it. Can you see like we just have like a millimeter, um, it just separated a little bit and then I can go in easier with my needle. I can go in easier with my needle and come through the pearl and pull this up nice and tight. There we go. And then pull it to the left and I'm going to repeat the light. Lucy is saying, I love a bending needle. Um, for this one, like this is why I, I, I got a new one out. My needle will be bendy by the end. Like it, it will be an S shape, I, I guarantee it. But I like like something like this it's it's good to have a straight needle because you're going through those two pearls all the time and every single time you're going through the pearl you kind of want your needle straight because if your needle is bent you're not going to be able to come out or, or like bent into a curve um, a right place and it can be so something like this can um, can be good to have a straight needle right if you got any question please um, put a cue in front of your question so i can very easily identify it and if you have any tip for us please put a t in front of your tip so again we can very easy pardon me identify it and read it out to you um debbie's saying i have got three on the go so what projects have you got on the go do let us know um you you know you're gonna bend up your brand new needle absolutely i got a whole bunch of them <laughs> this time oh look i'm chatting to you and i forgot to add the pearl so back up back up cancel cancel <laughs> take the seed beads off and then add the pearl first so you can see it happens to me all the time like i pick up the wrong beads as well and then stitch through the wrong bead Routine saying I love that color. I really do love this. It's a very pretty blue. So I'm gonna pick up a pearl first. So once I got something to hold on to, usually I change the direction and I hold on the other way because now I can hold on to the pearls um, and the, the seed beads that what I created the pattern at the bottom I can wrap the thread around my index finger and I can really quite nicely and tightly hold onto it and I'm going to be stitching away from myself when I'm adding the seed beads and the crystals on so one two 
three, four. And again, I'm going through the one I just picked up and the one before. Again, I'm going to push down with my nail in between those two pearls. I even wiggle it a little bit if I have to, just to create that tiny bit of a gap so I can easily come in with a needle and come through both of those pearls. Pull it up nice and tight. Pull the loop to the left and I'm going to add one to the right as well. Um, Leslie saying, looks lovely, hope to try this later. What is that thread you're using? I'll tell you just one in the sec, just trying to catch up with the comments. Morning Kitty, check Brenda, good morning, lovely. Um, oh, she said, decided to try a bit of beading today. Oh, well done. Going to sit and make an individual links for the money chain bracelet. You know, I was looking at the money chain bracelet the other day. Um, I found a very old sample with some skull beads on. We should have done that for Halloween. It kind of looked really good. But um, I was I was thinking about the money chain the other day as well myself. And if you don't know what the money chain, we have got a video on it. I think um, probably about a year ago. But you can search on, um, on Totally Vids website and find it. It's a very beautiful beautiful project right so i'm using Suplon thread there are so many different threads available out there um i used to use nymo sometimes i use fireline but since i uh, discovered Suplon, which is <laughs> i reckon about 15 years ago when i started with Suplon, i stuck with it and i use it all the time because it comes in 36 different colors so you can always match your thread for the color of the bead so it's, it's not going to show up it is if you are used to fire line the difference between fire line and using superlon when you're stitching with superlon your stitching is going to be how can i explain it a little bit more fluid and if you're using fire line your stitching is going to be a little bit more stiffer and they both fine for different sort of purposes if um oh i got no i haven't got anywhere near me but we did a super duo spiral not that long ago and with that one you had to the superlon just wasn't good enough it was too floppy with the superlon it needed something a little bit stiffer to have that nice tuber effect so they both really all of them are good but they're just good for different project but this is superlon and it's size d there's a couple of sizes comes in a superlon although i think they are phasing double a out which is the thinner one to be honest 99% of the time I always use D. I only use AA if I do something where I have to go through like size 15s more than ones. But so D is the one what we use the most. This comes from America. It's manufactured in America. Morning Debbie. Lucy is saying she only ever used Aslon. Yeah, there is Nymo. There is so many different ones. Um, G thread and um, there's so many like tulip and like there is so 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 many of them and we're just gonna go along and we, every single time we're gonna pick up a pearl then we're gonna add loop one loop to one side and another loop to the other side and you know saying morning I always find my first and end loop by the class do not sit by side of the pearl, how do you get a loop to say side by side? Right, so there's a little trick we're gonna do at the end, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Right, let me just open up. Oh, what's happening with my comments? Sorry, right, there's a pearl ring. Open it up on that. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, that's the one I want. Right, okay, so um, I'm going to show you. I'm, got, I'm probably going to do maybe two or three more uh, pearls on this side, and then we're going to start joining the second row um, to it. 
but if you just wanted a single row flat spiral that's that's how you would like this is how you would do it and just going to carry on and instead of using a for loop class which we're going to be using for for this one you would just join a two loop class at the end or any class really what you like two loop class are quite perfect because they're four sticks kind of like the loops on either side um as you are as you're doing it meaning saying you need to keep tension tights yes you kind of like have to do keep your tension tights i always keep my tension over the tight so i do have got like when i have to do quarreling or techniques when you have to keep your tension like a bit more normal i i struggle with but with this one the if you keep a nice and tight tension it's they're gonna really sit nicely Right, so I'm going to add maybe a couple more beads and then we're going to go in and start our second row. Very, very easy technique. Now, the kits come with instructions. So if you don't get everything today, you will be getting it from the instructions. And don't forget, if you get any two kits, two, four, six, multiple of twos, you're going to have 20% off the kits. It's $6.99 to make a bracelet. So it goes down to 580 per bracelet if you are buying two or, multi two or multiple of twos. Think about little Christmas presents coming up. But like, you know, you don't because it's a beautiful stitch and you're creating this really beautiful um, fabric like texture. I, I can't really kind of describe it any other way. I just really I, I love how the beads sit together with a flat spiral you could do other things as well you could make napkin rings you could do all sorts of different bits of pieces with them um decorations as well very beautiful very like solid stitch um i don't really i'm looking for a word <laughs> you might have to help me find this word i'm looking for but it's a really beautiful what what it reminds me it's like a leather you know when you've got a leather bracelet and and it's kind of like the thickness and the solidness and that's 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 what it reminds me um this stitch is like so woven together but it's the same time it moves so nicely fluid is fluid um uh, then i think it's fluid but it's um it's not it's not just fluid it's it's solid as well at the same time I'll find a word or I'll come up with a word. <laughs> you know me, I like to make new words up. Right, I'm going to add one more bead and then we're going to go into the next. I just want to have a little bit of a length so we can, we will have enough to add our clasp. One, two, three, four. You're probably going to use up like almost all 10 gram of seed beads for your bracelet. Oh, Sheila and Charlotte, thank you so much for the stars. Really, really appreciated every single one of them. Natalie's coming down next week. So I'm going to take her and we're going to go up to the... Um, we got, well, it's not new because... <laughs> It's opened like four months ago. We got like a cocktail bar opened on the high street. But so fairly new. <laughs> I'm going to take Natalie up there next week. She's coming down on Friday. So we're going to be all up to mischief and working out loads of different projects. And um, it's going to be good. I'm going to be putting a post up on... Um, on total and probably do it on my page as well so a lot of you I, I keep saying like i'm not sure about if you're going to do 12 days of christmas this year and and like you know just if you just really got a lot going on but <laughs> I'm, I'm getting messages as well now <laughs> like when is 12 days of christmas going to be ready so um decided uh okay we're gonna we're gonna sort it out for you but what i need to what i need you to tell me what projects you want to do so we can me and natalie can make sure that we can we can give you the projects what you want to do so if you haven't 
heard of 12 days of Christmas, you weren't with us last year. Um, we did something completely different. A um, lot of, um, like, you know, you can buy advent calendars and there's a lot of, lot, lot of things going on before Christmas um, that you can do. And I loved, uh, I love, I love my advent calendars as well and, and the kids love them as well every single year. Although Christopher is always asking for a Lego one. Um, but I find for me running up to Christmas is manic. It's just so, so manic. Like I haven't really got time to do anything because it's like, you know, you're trying to get the house ready, you're trying to decorate, you're trying to sort the food out and like the kids out. And then like, you know, the, I, I always go into this phase before Christmas. Like I, I really want to clean the house before I decorate it. So for, so from the middle of November, I guess I'm doing this big clean everywhere and I get the a steam cleaner out and clean the couch down and, and do all sorts of things. So I never have time before Christmas to really do anything. So what we come up with last year is instead of doing something before Christmas, we're going to do 12 days of Christmas. So you start on Boxing Day and every single day we had a video and a little project out so you can make something that day because let's face it, like one, once Christmas Day comes and like all the kids open their presents and like you, you perhaps like cook Christmas dinner and, and you sit down eat Christmas dinner enjoy like that day with your family and then you're like well now what <laughs> I spent the last month month and a half uh, preparing for this Christmas and doing all sorts of different things and the kids just playing with their presents and doing their own things and you kind of like sit there and like Oh, I, I need to get something out. I need to need to get um, some beads out or knitting or something out. So we did that last year and it was really, really popular. So we're going to do, but I need to know what projects you want to be doing. Like we could do so many different things and probably it's going to be, we like to take it across like all sorts of different techniques. And as well as do it in a way that, um, like, you know, different colors. And we, we're going to make a bundle up again. And so, yeah, but I need to know what, what you what you really want to do. What do you, what's happening with my, let me go, zoom in, come with me, camera. This is asking, what do you do with all your samples? I keep them. Because we do, um, we do reuse them in other lives. We do, um, like, you know, we do need them for photography. We got, <laughs> we got cupboards full of it. We got so, so much um, samples. But we keep them all. Sometimes we go through, like, and get rid of very old ones at shows, exhibitions. But the majority of them, we do, do keep them. Can we say coffee? Absolutely. Um, Francis in total logo with Lucy. So what did Lucy say? Um, I'm happy with any project. Everything you and Natalie do is amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's so nice of you, Lucy. Um, coffee, yeah. Do, do you make them all? Um, Janice, I do make quite a lot of them. Um, thankfully, like I got a few ladies around me who I, I, I would make a sample up. I would make the instructions up. And I got a few ladies who like... I don't think I could do it without them. They help out and make some other color samples up because there is just not enough hours in the day. Like <laughs> I could do it another 24 hours in each day and then I would fill that one up and that wouldn't be enough. But um, I do love, you know, you really know that when I love a project so much, when I um, personally make up all the different colors of samples, because there is so many colors we can do. Like I, 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 that's my, I love working out, putting colors together because we all different. So we, we can all, we all need to have different colors. So he's saying, I loved my 12 days of Christmas last year. I would like a tubular netted bracelet and some macrame, please. Um... Okay, um, I, I'm going to put a post up. I put up uh, on Kitty Robinson Designs and I put another post up on Totally Beads as well. So you won't miss it. And I should put a post up in, or maybe 
I just share the same post around, but um, I, need, I need a list of things. So you either need to message me. That's probably the best way to make sure that I, I get the message, but I will put a post up on social as well. So we can gather all the information that what we, what do you want to do? Because like, to be honest, like for me, I could put anything together, anything really, any, any project, anything um, using any bead, so I really want to know what do you want to what what do you, what do you want to do? Think about like um, sort of beginners to medium intermediate projects, I guess. But there's nothing really too hard if the instructions and there's going to be video instructions is going to be good. But it will give you something too. So it will be 10 a.m. every morning. You will have your little video, and then you can make that day. I think I did more than one bead, and I said I'm just going to add one bead. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually need, I'm going to grab another thread. Usually I would make the whole length. Now there is no stretch in this bracelet. So the length, what you get is the length, what you're going to have. Oh, Liz is saying 12 days of Christmas was amazing last year. I'm excited that you are going to do another, like it was Russian, Russian spiral three bees. Yeah, we could do that. Um, so last year it was like, like I'm going to take out another new needle. I'm going to, going to play with another new needle. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start the second. Now, is this a very separate, piece of thread. I can still go with the thread on the tail end and continue my beadwork that way. So I can um, make it longer and make it kind of like one row to be one piece. So the eye of the needle, this one is, I think is shot. I'm not very lucky with needles this, this week. <laughs> Wednesday or maybe I just really need to get my eyesight checked now um, I had a couple of dodge needles and went oh this one is perfect on Wednesday as well I mean this thing I really enjoyed my 12 day of Christmas yeah it was, it, it was good and it was like I was in there in the chat every morning it was a, uh, it was really good to do side okay so we're gonna start with the same way we're gonna pick up two pearls and then I'm going to pick up my usual pattern. I'm going to pick up four seed beads. I'm going to pick up a crystal and another four seed beads. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to come through both of these pearls from the tail end to form a loop on my over my pearls here right so what we need to do so on one side we have we're gonna have our normal loop on the other side we're gonna hook into the loop which is already on our other row so now instead of picking up four seed beads a crystal and four seed beads i'm just gonna pick up four seed beads one two three four and as I am facing upward with my thread, so this is my working thread, this is my tail end, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come through the crystal on this loop, just like that. And I'm gonna pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm gonna pick up another four crystals, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna go up through both of those pearls. So we are joining the second row straight onto the first row with a separate piece of thread. Pull this up nice and tight, making sure that loop is stays towards the right. I'm going to go ahead and pick up another pearl and take this all the way down. I'm going to pick up four seed beads and a crystal and another four seed beads and then come through the pearl from the unit before and the pearl I have just added. And there we go. And pull this up nice and tight. Now again, I'm gonna pick up four seed beads and I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna come down on the crystal on the second loop. 
So the way how you're gonna kind of like line it up with each other, that you can always see the crystal you need to come to is between the pearl you are coming out of and the pearl before. So I'm gonna come through this loop. Just, just the crystal on there. Pull this up nice and tight. Picking up another four seed beads and going up to both of those pearls. And then I'm gonna carry on all the way and every single time I'm going to join with the crystals just there. So picking up another pearl <laughs> Lucy saying, I just told my other half that I want 12 days of Christmas again this year. He rolled his eye and walked away. Oh bless. Well he can get it for you for Christmas then can't he? That's the other thing. I think it was good. Oh, I need a few more crystals. Because, like, you know, you can get you can get as a Christmas present for somebody. And then they get 12 days of enjoyment out of it, like doing it. One, two, three, four. Taking it down. I'm going to come through the pearl from the unit before. And the pearl I'm coming out of. The pearl I have just added. There we go. Pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm picking up four seed beads. Coming through that crystal. Coming down through that crystal. Another four seed beads. And going up through the two pearls. And I'm going to keep going on and adding my crystals and pearls all the way down and if you wanted to do a third row then you could add another one on there this is the easiest way to do it you could do like unit by unit like um do kind of like a double row and 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 come in like you would do like a figure of eight and then move on to the next one and do a figure eight and like do both rows at the same time but this way it's so much easier like there is so many different thread paths there is so many different ways you can do the very same look like just think about uh, kumihimo and uh, bead crochet they will both will end up will give you the very same structure looking very very like similar if if you're looking at it from in your hand you won't be able to tell the difference if like if you really know you you i guess you will but just as a glance you won't be able to tell that if it's a bead crochet or if it's a um kumihima made on or kumihimo disc so there's so many different pathways we can do the same project this is the one of the easiest ways to do it There we go. And we're going to keep on going and adding the pearls. Oh, I mean, he's saying, my son told me to get 12 days of Christmas for myself as I got presents for family, but not more for myself. Stood next to me and made sure I placed mother. Oh, Mina, that's so, so sweet. I think we often do that like I'll 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 do that like I make sure everybody's all right and everybody's got that they 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 preferred food option <laughs> their presence they're like you know everybody's taken care of and like you don't even worry about was it last year or the year before so my favorite sort of Christmas pudding is tiramisu <laughs> and everybody was I love I love a tiramisu uh, uh, Lucy wanted prof profiteroles, Christopher wanted um, cheesecake, I, Simon wanted trifle, um, Victoria was vegan by then so she wanted something vegan and it's like I, I went along and bought everybody the dessert they wanted and I forgot to buy tiramisu <laughs> for myself. So sometimes you just have to, you just have to do it for yourself. Right, four seed beads coming down through the crystal. And then I'm going to pick up another four seed beads and I'm going to go up through both of the pearls. One, two, three, four. There we go. 
and I'm picking up the next pearl and doing the next loop. Oh, Sue's so saying to remiss you, yum yum. Absolutely. It's, um, I like cheesecake as well. So the, those are my two go to dessert is either tiramisu or cheesecake. But I guess like I always loved tiramisu. If you go out, there could be 20 things on the dessert menu, but and, and like I could like either take it or leave it. But if there is tiramisu on there or like something like a honeycomb cheesecake, then that's it. Like I'd rather not have a dessert <laughs> or a side dish, but I'd rather not have a starter or a side dish, but have the dessert. Right, four, and I'm coming up both of those. Oh, Lucy's saying yum cheesecake. There we go. Right, I'm gonna, I think, get a few more, and then we're gonna do the clasp. I love the structure you create with flat spiral. One, two, three, four. Oh, Rachel is saying I had a rubbish Christmas last year. Um, had chemotherapy and Christmas Eve, so I'm so I'm making up for it. Oh, um, I hope you're right now, Rachel. I think most of us had a <laughs> oh, oh Christmas kind of like was cancelled last year and a lot of people had to cancel the Christmas plans anyway so hoping for yeah we're gonna have a better Christmas this year definitely we'll make the most of it one two three four and coming through a hot waffle and ice cream how, how did we get to waffle Lucy I really think to remiss you every day, a lemon drizzle or homemade lemon ice cream or lemon sorbet with no sugar. I do like lemon sorbet as well. Black Forest Ghetto at Christmas, Lorna is saying. Oh, bless. I'm not really a big fan of Black Forest Ghetto. My, my mum likes it. My mum really likes it. In Hungary, we have got like a cream cake as well, which is really nice. It's like cheesecake, but it's lighter. Right, coming through. And there we go. Who who even eats Christmas pudding on mince pies? I actually like whenever i first tried the christmas pudding it still has to grow on me i have to say <laughs> it still still has to grow on me every single year i buy a christmas pudding and we never have it but um mince pies they 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 i i actually started to like them because then they are different varieties as well um you can have but i think the problem with mince pies that running up for christmas and you can buy them already and um in the shops you can just like go and buy them now so you so you buy them before christmas and you like you have them before christmas and christmas day comes and you like no i don't really want to see another mince pie at all so it's kind of like i'm thinking of the mince pie is like getting getting you get, getting you to christmas getting getting you to the getting you getting you ready for the day sort of and then like you don't really have it after christmas just like before it homemade christmas pudding with apricots and nuts oh that sounds like delish right come on where's the hole there we are pull it up nice and tight i've got a few more poles to add and then we're gonna add the clasp Love Christmas to you, did. right? Okay, ladies. So I got to add one, two, three more, four, five more pearls. So I really need to know what we're gonna do about twelve days of Christmas. What projects do you do we want to do? Do we prefer bracelets? 
do we prefer necklace? And Lucy, you're gonna have, or somebody's gonna have to take a note what you're saying <laughs> because I am, I'm gonna be, I have to do the beading at the same time. So, can, in the comments, can you put bracelet, necklace, earrings, or home decor? What do you prefer doing? Like we could do beaded flowers. We could, we could just do so much. So I do need to let me know in the comments. What would you prefer to do for 12 days of Christmas? Bracelet, earrings, necklace, home decor, flower, key ring, anything. Anything which just comes to the mind you feel that you want to make more of. Bracelets are my go-to thing. So usually I would, I would design and I would make more bracelet than anything because that's what I would wear the most. But we could do all sorts of different stuff. Oh, Lucy's saying, got pad and pad out. And Charlotte is saying, all of that. But you have to tell me something. Come on, you need to work with me on this. Earrings, please, Mina is saying. We could do like a whole series on earrings. <gasps> beaded bead. We could do beaded beads. Bracelets. That would be... I, I probably haven't got enough time this year to design 12 new beaded beads. But we could aim for that for next year. But maybe we could do some beaded beads this year. Because then you could have a whole collection of them. Oh, that's a good idea. There's so many things we could do. What about a 3D project like a reindeer? Um, I think like doing it... Because we're doing it after Christmas. You don't really want to have like... You don't really want to do Christmas decks after Christmas. Rings and earrings. Yes, rings as well. Short earrings. Ooh, 3D project. Pendants as well. We could do. Ankle bracelet. 3D project would be lovely. I really... Um, want to do i don't know if i showed it to you uh, before but when we were with, in china with the kids and we went to this jade um, exhibition we bought this family ball which is like a bead in a bead in a bead in a bead and there was five layers of it because there is five uh, people in our family but i had to i just grabbed the the um, scissors there to try to help pull my needle through because the hole is a little bit small in, in on this pearl and I really wanted to do a bead version of it unfortunately that one fallen down and and some of it broke but I really wanted to do a beaded version of that so I have got a bead in a bead so if there is like only two of you or three of you or four of you you can always like do it for yourself and your parents or your for yourself and the children i think i got a knot somewhere let's just have a look um it's a really a nice nice thing to do right why are you not coming through i can see the end there and I think I must have a knot or something on it because it's not coming through. Keyrings or back charms, Natalie's saying. Hair accessories. You're just giving me too much options now. Right, that's that one. There we go. Pulled it through. Yes, I agree. Loads of simple, just bead ones. Um, Angela is saying, I have so many pieces of jewelry, so it would be nice to do something home decor. Key rings, back charms, kind of things. We haven't had an ankle bracelet that. No, we haven't actually. We need to do something like that, home decor. So what could we do in home decor where we could have... We could have a... You would need... We, we could even do something where you need 12 days to make that thing up. Like, that would be good. But then, hmm, what could we do in home decor? 
do a 3D project to a chocolate bar ridge just saying no I don't think that would work like you know I can't I would be like I would every single time I would start to do my beaded chocolate I would be thinking of real chocolates and would would want to have some they do look good like they do they this beaded um I seen somebody did a beaded McDonald's meal and like every single chip was beaded it was amazing some people like um i seen they did like cornflakes like a breakfast beaded breakfast cereal thing and every single one of them was like beaded it looked amazing um yes please made one two and four but not three as colors not what i like um candle in 3d uh, maybe a sun catcher beaded flowers please and 3d project for family beat sounds good a mixture of everything please um a bit li like my elf bead body arms legs etc yeah could do that as well like to, to do it in like different days so it's like it gets you through it yeah that would be good as well pen wraps joe is saying We just have to do a bit of a mixture of things. I don't know. Would be nice something like after Christmas. Like you, uh, uh, you could do it like a season of dream catcher, yeah. Dream catcher, I think. I don't have it on a dream catcher. Did Sarah do a dream catcher? She was always talking about it, but I can't remember actually if she did do one or not pen wraps would try love love to try that one right i'm just gonna add i'm just coming through these pearls and i'm gonna add my last pearl one thing what you have to be careful as you're coming through when you're pulling your needle through that you don't go through any of the seed beads when you come through the pearl sarah did one <laughs> I'm going to have to look on the website. I can't remember. It would be nice to do one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, last one. And then we're going to add the catch. And the last loop as well on there. One, two, three, four. Coming down through the crystals, last crystal and one, two, three, four, and going up through the two pearl. Right, so anytime when you're using multiple loop clasp like this one, what you need to do is to, you've got two threads. So we're going to attach, we're going to use both of them. What you need to do is to take your clasp and just put it down and just line it up with your bracelet. And just take a note of it, where are the loops on the clasp and where are they meeting um, your bracelet. So you can kind of like visually visualize it that what loop you need to go through or, or like, you know, how you're going to add your beads. Now, don't forget, if you don't add another loops on the top there, then what's gonna happen, these last loops are gonna flap about. So let me just grab, well you can see the color on this one quite nicely. So that's that's the front of it, that's what we want to see. The last, we're gonna have to add this half a loops here because this, this half a loop is holding the loop down behind it. And if I turn it around, you can see that um it kind of like the loop is in between the um the loops as you're adding the seed beads on and we're gonna go and add a seed bead go through the loop come back and then add sort of our half a loop and right at the end we're gonna add these seed beads onto the top so when you're wearing your bracelet you don't see like the loops on the class that's the back of it so you see just a nice bracelet i love um kind of like tidying up and adding a seed bead decoration on the top of the loop so you don't see the mechanics of the clasp 
Right. Uh, oh, God. I just got the coffee down on me. I can't even drink coffee now. What's going on? <laughs> Sunday, and he's got it down on my mat as well. Fr fr Sunday feeling on Friday. Right, okay. So as I'm coming out and I'm going to take this top one first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up one seed bead. There's, there's many different ways how you can connect the loops. I'm going to come through the loop and I'm going to be going to have to go backwards and forwards, turn around and just take it out of the way there. And I'm going to come up so you can see me what I'm doing. So I picked up one seed bead, gone through the loop. Then I'm going to go back through the seed bead and I'm going to come through just one of the pearls and I pull this up nice and tight. You can see this is going to pull up right next door to it. I'm not going to pull it completely tight so you can see the thread path. And then what we're going to do next, we're going to pick up beads to go on the outer place here. So I'm going to go ahead, then I'm going to pick up four seed beads and I'm going to pick up a crystal. And then I am going to take my, take this down and I'm going to go through that loop, but from the outer side. So I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp again. I'm going to pull this tight, but I don't want to go underneath it. I'm going to go on the top of it. So let me just pull that tight and I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp again, the same loop. Take my needle through and once again, I'm going to come back and just hold this in my hand. I'm going to come back through the crystal and I'm going to come back through the four seed beads. There we go. And then I'm going to go into the pearl. I'm going to go through the very last pearl again. Not the seed bead, I don't want to go through a seed bead, just the pearl. I'm going to pick up another seed bead. I'm going to go through not the top loop, but through the second loop. Then come back through that seed bead I have just added. So I am seeing, sewing it one side, I sewn it to the very very last loop the other side i'm sewing it to the second loop i'm gonna pull this up nice and tight i'm gonna go through the pearl don't forget to get the instructions with the kit i'm gonna go through the pearl just like that i'm gonna pick up four seed beads again and i'm gonna pick up a crystal and again I'm gonna go through the second loop but this time I want to go between the two loop two and three just like that I'm gonna pull that to one side I'm gonna come back through the crystal and the seed beads there we go and then with that we have completed one side now i'm just gonna um either way you can come through the beads and turn your your stuff around what you don't want to do you don't want to jump from one loop on to the other other loop because if you do that then it will pull these loops together it will close the gap between it what we want to have is the loop sitting on either side of our um, bracelet there. Now you need to repeat the process, exactly the same thing. It's go to past 11, so I'm not gonna keep you, I'm not gonna keep you any longer, but you're gonna need to repeat exactly the same what I did here with your other thread, picking up a seed bead, going through the third loop, then coming back to the crystal. You're gonna pick up four seed beads. Don't forget you already got the crystal here in the middle. Um, sewing that crystal to that loop, coming back and adding to the last one, just all the way down. And then when you are ready to add the this last sort of seed beads on here, 
weave your thread around any way you can weave it around so you're coming out of the crystal pick up your seed beads and jump all the way to the other side right uh, Lonely Singer charm bracelet with individual beaded flowers as charms could make different each day oh that would that would be good as well we could make like a different flower french beaded flower each day as well to make like a whole bouquet of it there's so many different things we could do um i love that idea yeah that that's really good as well so um buy two and you get 20 percent off so they're 6.99 a bracelet is 6.99 on the website but if you're gonna get two and i'm gonna zoom out i'm gonna show you the colors a little bit more again if you're gonna get two then you are going to save 20 percent on each one of them this is the blue one which bit which we've been doing there's so many lovely colors let me just take these out um this was was do you want me to go to the colors again or do check it out on the website lucy will pop the link in for us um when you're buying two for the discount can you buy a different color absolutely so you pick and pick and mix the colors but if you buy three the disc it's only it takes the discount off of two so you don't have to buy two four six or mul multiple of twos and um, we got our christmas colors we got a red gold and green the beautifuls now one thing oh actually i forgot to mention what you can do if you buy two colors you can um, use you can swap like if, if I wanted to make two Chris very Christmassy bracelets one for me and one, one one for my friend then I could swap the pearls from the green to the red and the red to the green and it would make like a two really Christmassy bracelets as well so you could swap the you could swap the colors in between um in between the uh, the kits themselves I do really love them um I, as I said earlier, it just gives you such a nice texture um, with this flat spiral. We need to do a triple one some point, I think, because, um, let me zoom out a bit on here as well. We need to do a triple color or triple row or maybe with, with different seed beads and like a multi um, um, color one would be nice. But there is there is there is so many of them. Now this is it. I just have to play with. This is one of my favorite. This sort of purple lavender color. It's called lavender on the website. Um, very beautiful color. Again, why I love that color so much because you can see it goes with blues. It goes with purples. If it goes with loads of different colors, you can. It goes even goes with black. You can wear it. So do check it out on the website. Loads and loads and loads of them there. Um, really beautiful stuff. You haven't got the pink and the silver made up, but they probably made up, and I don't know. That. I know exactly where the silver are. The silver is upstairs in my jewelry box, but I forgot about it. But um, our Lord is saying, if it did, we could do each flower charm in a color of birthstone. Absolutely, that would be amazing as well. Um, we could, we could, yeah, we could do all sorts of different things. That would be, um, that would be amazing. All the colored jewels, I love them as well. I did that mix the colors yeah you could mix the colors as well um that would be really really pink and um you can pick any colors absolutely so any two you can pick any colors right my lovelies it's like almost half past 11 i'm gonna have to go because i'm due into the beat club in like 20 minutes and i need to have some breakfast um we are doing if you're interested we are doing in the beat club we're doing like little russian leaves uh pendants this morning they're really really beautiful um very easy as well to do but each week each week we do all sorts of different stuff so um sunday creation station we are on on my channel which is kitty robinson designs um we're gonna be starting christmas makes and we doing using all sorts of different stuff really beautiful um girl i haven't got the kids near me but we will be doing all sorts of different stuff christmas decorations um throughout november and december as well so sunday 7 p.m join me on my channel otherwise i am back next week on wednesday friday i don't know i don't know I, you never know um what, what day of the week i am i never know what day of the week is but natalie is going to be with you on monday monday definitely and that she's doing some fringe jewelry spoiled for choice absolutely are beautiful 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 colors i really do love them 
like all of them they're just really really nice right my loves is have if i don't see you then have a beautiful weekend and i see you next week otherwise join me on sunday we're going to be starting our christmas making fun um everybody have a beautiful day and i see you very very soon bye